Hey everyone, welcome back to 4.0 Solutions. I'm Zach, your host, and in this week's episode of the Four Things Industry 4.0 newsletter, we have some great stories for you. Apple leaps towards interactive AR experiences. Musk champions open source AI in the never ending battle of Grok versus OpenAI. Tyson Foods dismisses over a thousand workers amidst new hiring strategy. And last but not least, IIoT and how it's revolutionizing classified manufacturing. Let's get into this week's episode. And also, if you guys want these insights delivered directly to your email, there'll be a link below. Go to iiot.university, go to our newsletter, and sign up for email updates. And then you can read these every Monday morning when they get sent out. Apple's leap towards interactive AR experiences. Apple is pushing the boundaries of AR and VR by developing technology that allows users to physically touch and feel virtual objects. With a focus on smart rings and fingertip sensors, this innovation is poised to significantly enhance user interaction with digital environments, merging the sensory and the virtual more closely than ever before. This advancement underlines a transformative approach in digital interaction, aiming to deeply integrate virtual experiences with our physical world. This is kind of what the Apple is proposing for their fingertip sensors. If you guys have an Oculus Quest, that's something that we use internally for meetings with our remote team, and you'll know that the Touch controllers give you that haptic feedback when you're uh, interacting with the real, the environment in, in the virtual reality. Uh, but they're pushing more towards just being able to use your hands and sensing where those are. But then you're lacking that haptic feedback, which is really important in the immersion factor. Ultimately, uh, Walker Reynolds has said many times, and I also agree with him, that the end game for interactive VR and AR is through Neuralink. So you don't even have to have this tech and hardware, but this looks like a good intermediary solution. So kudos to Apple for pushing this technology forward. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Neuralink is going to be the future of AR? Let us know in the comments below. Musk champions open source AI with Grok amidst AI dispute. Elon Musk's latest venture, XAI, is set to open source its AI model, Grok, as a challenge to ChatGPT in the midst of the legal contention with OpenAI. Last week, we said that Elon Musk would drop the lawsuit with OpenAI if they changed their name to Closed AI. If I was Elon Musk and I had donated $100 million to an open source venture and then they went closed source, I would be upset too. Some of the critique was that, that Grok wasn't open source yet, and so now this week, Elon posted on X which if you're not already, you gotta follow Elon Musk on X. This week, XAI will open source Grok. <laughs> Misha Turtle Island said, OpenAI should do the same. If they are open, that is. OpenAI is a lie. It's definitely closed AI. Sam Altman, what's going on? Next on our list, Tyson Foods dismisses over a thousand people amidst new hiring strategy. But first, a message from our sponsor, Digital Factory Mastermind. So Digital Factory Mastermind is our flagship educational program offered at IIoT.University. I did ask this week, what are some of the key benefits from the Mastermind members? And here's some of their feedback. The value of Mastermind is motivation and inspiration to keep pushing, expert knowledge in the unified namespace, digital transformation fluency, a highly attuned bullshit detector, really important. And last but not least, expedited learning curve on anything digital. That's really why we designed this program. And so if you guys are interested click the link below apply to join our mastermind tuition starts at a really affordable price typically what you would pay for a week of training you can get a year worth of training in our mastermind so click the link below and apply to join our mastermind in a controversial move, Tyson is terminating 1,276 employees in Perry, Iowa, while reportedly planning to recruit asylum seekers for expanding operations. This decision has sparked intense debate regarding corporate responsibility and workforce management amidst economic and social challenges. The layoff not only impacts the local community significantly, but also raises questions about the balance between corporate restructuring and employee welfare in the organization. If you guys follow 4.0 Solutions, you know that our mission is to save and create middle class jobs by helping manufacturers do more with less. As part of that process, labor is often reduced on the manufacturing line level. And what we often see is employees being reappropriated to higher and more valuable uh, levels in the stack or higher and more valuable tasks. Rounding out this week's news story, IIoT is revolutionizing classified manufacturing. The in integration of the industrial Internet of Things is transforming classified area manufacturing, enhancing efficiency, predictive maintenance, and environmental monitoring. This technological leap enables defense and aerospace sectors to proactively tackle international threats through improved data-driven decision-making and resource allocation. However, challenges such as cost, implementation, and complexity, and the need for military-grade security remain. 
Embracing IoT with strategic planning and robust cybersecurity can propel the defense industry forward, ensuring a more secure and efficient manufacturing landscape. This article is from Forbes. Real time, one of the things they mentioned was real-time asset tracking. Real-time asset tracking can optimize resource allocation and reduce loss within defense organization. According to this report, the average manufacturing company loses over $2 million to unplanned machine downtime. By implementing IIoT solutions with real-time asset tracking capabilities, manufacturers can monitor critical equipment, vehicles, and resource with full visibility. This level of insight enables them to make informed decisions about resource distribution and minimizes the risk of misplaced or stolen assets. So it sounds like the US government hopefully might be putting our tax dollars to better use with IIoT, although I won't hold my breath. What do you guys think? And that rounds out this week's newsletter. If you guys think we missed something, join the Industry 4.0 Discord server and share articles. That's how we source these news stories is we scour the internet and we also leverage the community to bring all of these different news sources to our attention and try to deliver the best insights to you. Thank you to the Digital Factory Mastermind for sponsoring this episode. If you guys are interested in sponsoring the newsletter, reach out to me on LinkedIn or at Zach at 40solutions.com and we'll see you guys next week. Peace.